this is David Goldberg from Gold Street TV, and I am sitting right now with Kobe Carp. The legend, Kobe Carp. The legend, Kobe Carp, kobecarp.com. So, Kobe, tell me a little bit about how you got started, where you came from, how you got into architecture. Just tell me your story. I was a graduate from the University of Minnesota School of Architecture with a degree in environmental design and architecture from the Institute of Technology. And I already was licensed. I worked while I went to school. I had to pay for school, so I worked. And I worked in uh, landscaping, I worked in construction, I shot with a lot of buildings. Sat down for the exam, I passed it all the first time when I was 24. I moved to Miami in 1988, and I joined a British firm that was building all-inclusive resorts and hotels in the Caribbean. St. Lucia, Grenada, Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas, Jamaica. And we're building hotels in the British West Indies throughout um, the late 80s and early 90s. And now we're in 2020, so this has been going on for 30 years. From Fisher Island to the Fountain Blue. But you've done that. You've done large homes, you've done hotels, you know, Fisher Island. You know, tell me some of the projects. You've done. Fisher Island, we did Palazzo del Sol. And then it sold out, so then we did Palazzo de Luna. What kind of sales? What were the prices? We're looking at sales that range between two to three thousand dollars a foot for so got twenty million dollar. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. We sell homes that are ranging between fifteen to thirty, five, forty on an ongoing basis in La Gorse Island. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Bell Harbor, Miami Beach. That's what we do. We do the Fort Lauderdale um, four seasons now, starting construction and the sales there are very, very strong. We've been here for a few decades. What is unique and, and, and special, I think, about Miami is that the future of Miami is so much brighter based on history and civilization as to where it's going, to where it has been since the 70s and 80s and 90s, which have been kind of a tranquil, low-key, you know, development area. Where in the 90s started ramp up in the 2000s, now we're in the 2020s. But I believe until the 30s and the 40s, there is an availability and demand. What What are some of the different neighborhoods that you think are up and coming and you would tell other people to keep an eye out for. I think that Miami is uniquely a neighborhood, sort of a DNA compilation of bricks, right? So even within Miami Beach, you have South Beach, you have South of Fifth Street, you have North Beach, you have Mid Beach, Sunset Harbor. You, you have Sunset Harbor, and you got this these districts that become destinations. Ocean Drive versus Lincoln Road, right? And that is just Miami Beach. So imagine what we can do in Miami, Edgewater versus Wynwood versus Design District versus Liberty City versus Popotown versus Popalaca versus Alapata. These are all All of these within. are sub-markets in unique neighborhoods which people create their homes and their livelihoods. And that's what makes Miami a more of a home to a lot of people in a more of a walkable neighborhood and a district more so than ever before. And that is unique to Miami. That is really, really, really special to Miami. And in the future, when public transportation kicks up again, as it has in the past with trolleys and so forth, it will be very, very successful on an ongoing basis. Helping, they're helping form all these different neighborhoods with so many different characteristics. So we're just a cog in the wheel, we're just a little spoke, but we are one of the people who have helped in this community to make it happen. Well, let's take a walk around the office real quick. I want to just show just some of the pictures and just see, see the office. Should we do it, Andrea? Let's go take them for a little walkie walkie. These are some of the pictures of the home. These are all products in the top. Yeah, this is the Four Seasons in Surfside. This is the one hotel in Miami Beach. This is the Bahia Mall we're working on in Fort Lauderdale. So this is the office, right? So this is a, a cop shop. This is the Miami Day Police Department. 
and it just shows you how we have been. But we brought Starbucks in, we brought Jimmy John's down there. We took the tenants that have been here, the Peruvian restaurant, and kept them in here. And they have expanded. And that's where Jennifer Lopez and everybody else, like the Tom Nairod and Kardashian, like we go there. Um, and so we do. And you do a lot of, so a lot of the homes, private homes, you do obviously, you've got a lot of salaries. The private homes are unique. They're unique to individuals who want to come and live in Miami and raise their family. We did a spec house to a young man who then was dating some lady and he got married and now he's got two kids and the two kids are living in the house, right? Like Wayne. And the, and the spec house became our home. And that's what we do. We we design for sometimes you don't know what the future holds, right? I mean, like right now, He's working on a project in Istanbul. In Istanbul, right over there. And he's working on a project in uh, Bonaventure, right? Which is in infill. While at the same time, um, you know, things just continue to evolve. That's what we do. This is the original Nancy model we did for this strip club back in 2012. Wow. So these, these projects are taking, they take. 10 years, 20 years, all that stuff. Five years is a good time for it to go. Start to finish, but some people have visions of a long time ago. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is 400 Sunny Owls, the central favorite in Sunny Owls, and thanks for the post you have come. So there's a multiple rental and condominium projects that we have done that have gone ahead. This is no Beyond Bay, and the Duvel is still, you know, not built. This is Chateau on the Park in Sunny Owls Beach. This is a house on Indian Creek. This is on Astralene.com. You can get our book that just came out. Um, you have all of our projects in here. A lot of these projects. That's a lot. Uh, yep. this, is, this is a cool project we just opened up to. This is the Tampa project. It was a courthouse. And we use the uh, images of the courthouse as inspiration, but this is what it looks Beautiful. like. Kobe. I've known Kobe for a long time. Kobe was one of the first people I met. Got behind me for broker boxing when I was getting when I was getting it going. He was at my wedding. Day Bo after uh, boxing, I, I, boxing is how we met. He was promoting boxing. He was this young, good-looking guy. Now he's an older, good-looking guy. But he promoted the boxing. The boxing was a venue for everybody in the real estate community to come together and share thoughts and ideas in a very informal fashion. Well, Kobe. Love you. Thank you. Good to have you back. I'm back here.